You're watching This Week in Fish and Wildlife. Thursday morning, time once again for This Week in Fish and Wildlife. Once again, we're on the road with Morgan Jacobson from the Montana Department of Fish, Wildlife and Parks. We're not the only ones on the road. Uh, it is that time of yeah. year when wildlife, at least some of the wildlife in Montana, move, mm -hmm. migration. Let's talk a little bit about that if we can. Yeah, you know, one of the most common questions we get, uh, especially leading up to hunting season, uh, you know, and, and often from folks who uh, who haven't hunted a lot in Montana, they ask us, you know, when are the elk going to migrate? You know, mm -hmm. at what elevation should I plan on hunting? Uh, where can I expect to see them? And, and there's really no good, solid, consistent answer from year to year. And the reason is, is because wildlife migrations are driven by weather. Um, <laughs> which varies from year to year. It doesn't, it doesn't occur, you know, in the same week, uh, you know, the same month of the year. Um, it, it really depends. And so, uh, you know, this is the time of year when it starts happening. Um, mm -hmm. You know, what triggers migrations is when wildlife aren't able to find forage at higher elevations. Um, they, they start to move to what we call winter ranges, which is typically uh, lower elevations where they're better able to, to, to find food um, and, and continue eating throughout the winter. Yeah, where we are right now, the, the forage would be a little bit tougher to find, but that's only been within the last few days. So, right. you, you, like you said, timing is everything who knows when it's going to happen i mean there's no real predictor for it other than the weather that's right and and you know it sometimes it takes more than one storm uh to uh, to to get that rolling so mm -hmm. uh you know as as people are uh, you know continue out the hunting season um as well as you know just just motorist awareness on the highways you know mm -hmm. be aware that you know migrations have kind of started occurring in some places so mm -hmm. You know, one, we're going to see animals in different places uh, than they have been, you know, throughout, you know, the, the past few weeks. Um, and so, you know, it, it changes what hunting looks like. Uh, you often see more animals on lower elevation private lands than yeah. at higher elevation public lands. Um, and then and then for people who are commuting, you know, we uh, one, we're we're. Um, uh, commuting during darker hours of the day in the evenings now mm -hmm. um, and, and it also is, is a time when you can expect to see more wildlife near highways because they're coming down to uh, some lower areas so just be aware of that as you're traveling um, you know my migrations happen every year uh, mm -hmm. but uh, this is about when they about when they occur yeah and, and not super surprising those roadways oftentimes are the easiest way for them to move from place to place so not super surprising to see them out in some of those areas especially I'm thinking uh, down in the Gardner area in the mm -hmm. West Yellowstone area when the bison are moving around as well right you know and in and, and when those uh, highways get plowed you know oftentimes there's a big uh, berm of snow on on mm -hmm. either side of the highway and, and and those those wildlife may just move up and down the highway until they can find a way mm -hmm. to uh, uh, to get back off the shoulder so uh, yeah, just slow down, you know, be, be cautious and, and be aware um, uh, that, that that's happening. Um, you know, that being said, there are places where wildlife don't migrate. Uh, you know, we see some populations of, of pronghorn, for example, down in the Madison Valley, where on one side of the highway they're migratory and the other side they're not. And so, um, you know, there, there's wildlife year round in some places as well, which is, which is really interesting. Um, you know, and it, on, in contrast, we have wildlife that migrate between, you know, like uh, north of, you know, kind of by Ennis Lake all the way down to Island Park in Idaho. Mm -hmm. So we've got some really uh, diverse migration patterns in Montana, really long migrations, some that are really short, some that don't happen at all. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, this is kind of the time of year when we get to see that kind of take place. It's fantastic. Another uh, benefit of living here in southwest Montana and in Region 3. That's right. This is where it all happens. It's perfect. Morgan, thank you very much. You bet. And that's this week in Fish and Wildlife. You've been watching This Week in Fish and Wildlife.